welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for um, the second week of September the week from the 9th until the 15th I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful energy vibration I want to say to each and every one thank you for the, the uh, energies this is the week of the Virgos you're having birthday from the 9th until uh, the 15th okay so let's see what is going on for you Virgos so um, for the uh, people this week is a week of strength so you have a year of strength a year of strength whatever is happening listen to your intuition in this year whatever is happening listen to your intuition the energy of strength comes up and it's a year of strength for you Virgo so whatever is happening you have to find inner strength to deal with issues and situations in your life in this year okay you have also the energy of the hangman um, in a strength the energy of the hangman um, what is happening and then you have the moon secrecy and um, secrets are going to be coming out and you have the energy of the chariot victory is going to be overcome and you have temperance dealing with strength so um, that is good and you have the energy of the towers with the secrets and the lies that is going to be coming out and you have debt transition debt comes in so that comes to the secret and lies that was being kept that come to the secret and lies um, that has been transpiring so a lot of you Virgos have been going through a lot of issues a lot of situations um, in your lives and there were secrets and lies and this year is the year of strength for you guys and strength also um, comes up now what we're seeing is that uh, the intuition where the eye princess comes up the eye princess comes up dealing with strength we have the energy of the hangman and the hangman is hanging in limbo because there are secrets there are secrets and these secrets are definitely going to be coming out and some of you are going to be victoriously coming out of these secrets because of lies and deception the secrets that debt come to the secrets there is a transition the energy of the tower is here and the energy of the tower um, some message comes out the four of Pentacles the four of Pentacles okay and um, what is going to be happening and what is going to be transparent is that there was some secrets and you people message keep on coming out it has to do with the Emperor it has to do with people in power it has to do with the Emperor the people in power and uh, uh, the secrets and whatever that was going on is definitely going to be coming out you Virgos are in your year reading I'm seeing the tower moment come to secrets and lie whatever the secrets and lie is there is a tower moment to the secrets and lie there's death and transformation and accept okay so these two message came out and we have the four of Pentacles and the Emperor now whatever the issue is is with the four of Pentacles and the Emperor some of you are going to be dealing with people in authority some of you are going to be dealing with the Taurus uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius and whatever this was is that you're going to be successful over this situation this issue whatever that has happened whatever that has transpired you're definitely going to be victorious over whatever is going on okay so um, um, this is good this is wonderful so let's go in the reading and see exactly what is coming out for you guys okay let's go into reading and see exactly what is coming out for you guys okay so um that's good um standing your ground which is very good some of you are really going to be standing your ground i'm seeing art breaks with a nine of uh, flam there is art breaks i'm seeing um the king of wands is in limbo and uh, there are conflicts uh, um, that some of you um, secrets the king the king of uh, um, if you're dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person has a lot of secrets and the secrets is going to be coming out there is going to be a breakdown and the secrets are going to be coming out um, the chariot is here and you're going to be receiving news 
um, um, that is going to be coming in so um, that is good temperance there is uh, um, really really burdens uh, six of ones you're going to be receiving some good news the energy of the tower come down with the conflicts and there is all conflicts around debt um, is uh, an, a transition because debt is not debt is a transition because it did not return in your reading so definitely is a year of transition for you guys that you have to find um, a year um, that you have to find your inner um, guidance um, uh, to a situation and you're ending a situation and this is going to be good okay so let's see the people who were born on the 19th for the people who were born on the 9th, 9th of September the high princess is here and the high princess is protecting you it's as if she comes out and she's saying your financial stability will be okay stand your grounds stand your grounds whatever is happening the high princess is saying don't worry about your financial situation but stand your grounds to things that is happening around you and the deceptiveness and things that is happening around you okay and the high princess is saying stand your grounds and you know for the people who were born on the ninth really in this year listen to your own self than the guide of other people because by you listening to your intuition because your intuition is guiding you because something around you isn't right and it has to do with you standing your grounds with your family your financial situation in this year it's about you building up standing your grounds keeping um, your grounds with a financial situation and standing up for equality and injustice okay so whatever that was going on whatever the situation is and was we um, you people who were born on the ninth are going to be realizing the deceptions and the lies that is happening and that is transpiring okay so the eye princess with the ten of Pentacles and the ten, the seven of wands is here and there are secrets there are secrets that you're not aware of and whatever these secrets are that you're not aware of they're definitely going to be coming out in this year for the people who were born on the night for the people who were born on the 10 I see you have the energy of the year you are going to really need to find inner strength really really need to find inner strength and as you find that inner strength you're dealing with someone who is breakthroughs are going to be coming in and you're dealing with someone who is a Sagittarius um, this person could be an um, this curse this person could be an Aquarius um, um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that you're dealing with there's going to be some heartbreaks there's going to be some heartbreaks there is going to be some heartbreaks coming up but it's okay because you're going to get over this if you are married to an Aquarian Gemini or Libra there is some heartbreaks there is going to be some heartbreaks coming up but it's okay you will get over this sometimes um, you need to leave someone so that uh, your um, um, your energy and everything can be aligned okay and what is coming up is that you're going to be successfully overcoming this heartbreaks because you're going to be finding out how to deal with this heartbreak you're going to be healing yourself from the heartbreak that is coming up whether it's with a person with a situation or whatever you have successfully and you're going to be successfully coming over this issue so that is good for the people who were born on the 11th the energy of the hangman is here for the people who were born on the 11th the energy of the hangman is here and it has to do with the knight of wands now whoever this knight of wands is, is an aries leo or a sagittarius so a lot of you have to deal with this person now there is conflicts with this person about money whoever this person is there is definitely conflicts this could be a father this could be a husband this could be someone you know there is definitely conflicts uh, with this person over money and this is uh, what is happening and what is transpiring and what is going to be coming out of this is that uh, you um, are going to be um, resolving this issue okay so whoever you are and whatever has transpired you are going to be resolving this issue okay there's a lot of conflicts but this issue in this year 
is what you're going to be taking on you're in limbo because you're waiting because there's conflicts there's conflicts with other people and you're in limbo and you're waking this conflicts is going to be over and you're going to be fine you're going to be just walking away for the people who were born on the 12 um, you have the energy of the moon you have a lot of uh, there's a lot of secrecy around you there is a lot of secrecy around you there is a lot of secrecy around you and what you need to do um, these secrecy have to do with uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whoever this part a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you ladies who are married to this man whatever secret he has is going to come out and you're going to be successful whatever secret this man is holding you are going to find out you are going to find out you're going to be finding out the secret that this man is holding and you are going to be very very successful you're going to be finding out finding out the secret that this man is holding and you're going to be very very successful so whatever the energy is and whatever the situation is you are going to find out because this person this Pisces cancer or scorpion person is a liar uh, is mentally is as if he is sick is a liar this person is 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 is, is sick this person is a liar okay so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring the truth is going to come out because the Sun is over the moon and uh, with the Sun over the moon it is going to be exploring and showing the lies different uh, from the truth okay so expect this now there is a, a situation where some of you on the th who are born born on the 13 some of you who were born on the 13 whatever the issue is whatever the situation is uh, um, you're going to be very lucky I have to go back I have to go back and let you um, guys who were born on um, 9 10 11 12 uh, uh, know that you're going to be lucky you're going to be very lucky because you're going to be finding out what is that you are going to be lucky you have the energy of luck the energy of uh, um, the Sun and the truth okay so you speak the truth the truth is going to be coming out whatever lies that is happening whatever lies that a Pisces cancer or a scorpion is doing towards you is going to be coming out okay they are lying and it's going to be coming out you're going to be very lucky because you're going to be finding out and overcoming this situation you're going to be very lucky because you're going to be finding out and overcoming this situation now for the people who were born on the 13th you are having a situation with kids there are issues in um, that is coming up in the year 2019 because this is your year 2019 there are definitely issues that is coming up um, in the year 2019 where you're having issues with kids and some of you are going to be adopting in this year so if you're planning on adopting kid in um, after your birthday and that sort of a thing you're going to make the realization yes I'm going to do that because there's a lot of love that is coming in the energy of the chariot is here and whatever the energy of the chariot is and whatever that is going on there's going to be multiple opportunities that is coming up and that is opening up for you the energy of the chariot is going to be bringing out these multiple opportunities to come up and help you open up um, new um, directions in your life and this is going to be true because it is a positive movement ahead it is going to be a positive movement with a new start it's going to be a positive movement with the ace of Pentacles okay so it's going to be a positive movement with the ace of Pentacles a positive uh, movement forward because there's multiple opportunities and choices that is coming up for the people who were born on the 14 you have your own energy vibration which is the energy of temperance you have your own energy vibration which is the energy of temperance you have burdens but you're going to be receiving some good news you have some burdens but you're going to be receiving some good news okay whatever the issue is and whatever the situation and whatever the burdens that you people on the 14th of September is carrying and dealing with you are going to end up resolving these issues you're definitely going to be 
ending up resolving these issues and you're going to be coming out of this burdensome situation that has been going on because you some of you have been going through burdens for a very long time and this burden is going to be ending and it has to do with work okay this burden is going to be ending and it has to do with work because you're going to be very much coming out on top what I'm seeing here is the tower energy there is the tower energy um, and the tower energy is where something is coming to an end okay some deceptiveness some conflicts and deceptiveness that has been going on some this um, conflicts and deceptiveness that has been going on is going to finally come to an end some lies and deception some energy of lies and deception some conflicts is going to finally come to an end and however it is affecting you in your life let go what needs to let go let go what needs to let go because as you let that go it is was a karmic situation and you're going to be letting go this situation in the year 2019 right after your birthday you're going to be starting to see the energies clear up and the energies moving out and the ending is coming in and this is going to be good okay so whatever that was happening whatever the situation is whatever that was transpiring you're going to be ending this there is a situation a transition over lies and deceptive that has to do with people in power there was a whole lot of lies and deceptive that has to do with people in power whatever that was going on it's finally coming to an end you are now going to be having peace in your life you are now going to be feeling the energy and having peace in your life and know that there was a deceptive things that was going on and it has to do with people who was um, um, overusing their powers and try to do something of injustice they were overusing their powers and trying to do things of injustice and this is going to be ending and it is going to be ended in a positive way because the lies and the deception is going to come to an end and it's going to be ended in a very very positive way so again I want to give you guys your number if you were born on the 9th of September you have 210 seven and 26 26 is eight there was some secrets um, these secrets are going to be coming out for the people who were born on um, the tent you have eight um, one three and 31 31 is the energy of the Sun so you're going to be feeling much better if you have heartbreak if there was heartbreak you're going to be feeling much better you're going to learn to love yourself and learn to understand and you're going to be moving away from this issue and this heartbreak for the people who were born on the 11th um, you have the energy of the hangman the energy of the hangman is number 12 you have five um, you have 11 some of you are dealing with the um, and number one okay and remember that you people are going to be dealing with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and there is conflicts there's communication there is conflicts whatever is going on is going to be okay then we're looking at the energy and we're seeing the energy of lies and deception whatever is transpiring we're seeing the energy of lies and deception um, and uh, you are having uh, um, uh, the energy of uh, luck is coming up success huge success and you are dealing with mother or father or you are dealing with your partner you're dealing with your mother or father some issues some lies some secrets that has been kept and uh, you are going to be very 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 successful with the situation that is transpire then we have um, the energy of uh, um, you moving forward you have the energy of uh, the chariot and the energy of the chariot um, is 7 and 22 7 and 22 for the people who were born on the 14 you have the energy of uh, um, 14 10 6 14 10 6 and 14 okay 14 10 6 and 14 and this is good for the people who were born 
on um, the 15 you have twice five there's huge changes is going to be coming in the end of a horrible um, time in your life huge changes is coming in don't push these changes away understand these changes accept um, however the changes is coming is it the loss of a job is it the loss of a friendship is it the loss of a relationship whatever the change it is coming in accept it because you need to let go of this negative issue and situations around you ladies and gentlemen please enjoy this year um, namaste until next time